Hey guys, sorry for the delay, it's actually morning time right now, but anyway, this is the review, the recap for Hit the Floor Season 3, Episode 6, Carrying. And so, this episode actually starts off with the one and only Sloan, and she's being interrogated. She's being investigated, because remember, we knew that Sloan was doing something really dumb, so I'm Mark Tainer's in. We know that Sloane was doing something really dumb by confessing to the fact that she hated uh, Olivia. And I'm like, why the hell is Sloane divulging all of this information to a woman that she barely knows? This makes absolutely zero sense. And so, because Sloane did that, now she's in jail. Now she's being suspect, uh, suspected of killing Olivia. We go past that, and Pete's also there trying to defend her, but that's not going so well as you can imagine. Because uh, Pete is really out of the loop with this as well. So, you have Asha talking to German. And she's also talking to Derek. It's, it gets very awkward because she's trying to smooth things over with German. While trying to keep the secret of the fact that she slept with Derek again. Yeah, that comes out. Afterwards, we get to June and Zero. And Zero is just loving the fact that he's getting all this attention. He's like, he lost one sponsor in Game 3. He also has a book deal and everything. It's just like, people just keep throwing him all this game money and he loves it. He's accepting it with open arms. Now, at this point, Zero's not saying that he's gay. He's saying that he's bisexual at this point. So, Lionel is still with her ex and they just had a nightcap. And they're trying to figure out, I guess, what their next moves are. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> I love Kyle. Kyle is taping her movie. And it's a mess. And remember the devil girl? The, I guess, Latina uh, devil girl who was a uh, troublemaker before? Well, yeah, she's back. And she's actually been casted to be a part of uh, Kyle's movie. But she's playing Raquel. So you must know that must be very interesting. And I already knew that. I was like, something is off. This movie should not be um, made because the whole point is if the movie bombs, that's how they'll make money. If it succeeds, then they won't make money. All of their business will be out there and uh, Kyle's associate will be in a lot of trouble. So you have Yelena who's talking with Terrence and you know everything's going smoothly because now that they're the tenants of the uh, Devil's Arena they are actually increasing the uh, rent and fee. I think they tripled it. And so Yelena is just gloating. I'm like look Elena no one can be that high forever <clears throat> especially being that little. And I was right because guess what? Yelena gets surprised by the chick who's in this car Who's essentially like, yo, yeah, so I have a baby and I think that my baby's father is your fiance. Yeah, so we have that. And Yelena doesn't believe it. She's just like, you know, Terrence, there's another chick who's claiming that you're the father. And he was like, oh yeah, another one? He was like, who is it? And it was like, Roxy, that's not her name. But he was like, oh, you mean Roxy? That Again, that's not her name. And she was like, yeah, and so he said, ooh, well, that actually happened because we slept together while we weren't, while I wasn't with you. I never cheated on you. You know, I'm actually a good guy. Never cheated on you, but it was when I was at my lowest point, and I did sleep with her, and she was like, without protection? And I'm like, yes, Elena, without protection. That's how he got her pregnant. Well, you can't still wear protection and get someone pregnant. That is a misconception, but... Yeah, so she was like, look, we're going to get her tested to see if it's actually yours. We're going to get you tested to see if you got anything from her, aside from giving her something. How about that? So Sloan is still being interrogated, and this guy is grilling her. He's just like, oh, so why wouldn't you have a vendetta against this chick? I mean, she slept with your guy. She... Uh, has your daughter now employed under her, under her thumb? And you're saying that you didn't have any ill will or bad blood towards her? You sure? You sure? <laughs> so it's not looking good for Sloan. So Oscar is um, met up with Jude in jail. And Oscar needs to get a favor from Jude. 
And he's like, I need you to get this guy's number because he's going to go and help me out. I need you to do this for me. I really need you to do this for me. Judas is like, look, I'm not making any promises, but I'll think about it. I already knew I was calling BS on that to begin with because Jude's smart enough at this point. Oscar's just using him. Afterwards, we get uh, Zero, who's speaking with the guy who's going to be following him around because he's going to be writing a book about his life. And so Zero doesn't want to talk about his early childhood does not want to talk about his early childhood in the very least. And so that's going to be a problem with a book based on your life. Raquel and um, Kyle meet up because Kyle, uh, Raquel's just like, look, this chick is not leaving me alone. She's following me because she's trying to see how I am, the, daily, the days in life of Raquel. And so Kyle's like, look, I'll figure it out. I'll handle her. Zero actually talks to Raquel. It's just like, oh, so, you know... Uh, I know you were into guys, but you're now gay. And he was like, well, you know, I'm whatever. And so I want you to go and throw this party for me. I want you to do it because I feel like you would make sure that everyone who I wanted there and the type of theme I wanted would be represented and not some farce and fallacy. And so, you know Zero. Zero loves to do it big, loves to do it dramatic. So, that's how the party is. Now, Elena's talking with, what's his name? With German. And she's just like, yo. So, you said you were off on a trip doing this, but you were actually stalking me? That's what you were doing? You were stalking me? How dare you? What is going on, German? What's wrong with you? And he was just like, you know, Asha, I'm there to protect you. And I also don't trust. I do not trust Terrence. I don't trust him with you at all. I mean, that's he didn't essentially say that, but he wanted to say that. And again, Yelena is grilling this chick who's supposedly having Terrence's baby, who's a boy. And she's just like, you know, oh, I don't want to take a drug test. I don't want to endanger my baby. It's like, no, we're drawing your blood, so your baby will be perfectly fine. And it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, not only are you getting tested, you're going to test it within an hour. So you better go. And hurry up. And I'm like, okay, Yelena, you don't play. I respect that. But I think you might have to take an L on this one. So again, Lionel is talking to her ex. Trying to figure out the next steps. The party is, like I said, loud, proud, and unapologetic. Just like Zero at this point in time. And so the book writer is still trying to figure out how the hell am I going to get more information out of this kid because we can't do a full story about his life if he's not divulging everything about his early childhood. And the dance that they did was very cool. Again, it did incorporate that whole uh, kind of switching roles. The women were, half the women were in suits, kind of dressed as the men and that technically acting like how the men would act. And the other women were dressed in dresses. And again, it was great. Sloan is still trying to talk to this investigator, like, yo. And I feel like this investigator is the only one that's not on Oscar's payroll, which is a pretty messed up part. I feel like he might actually help her out later on if it wasn't for the fact that there was so much evidence against her, stacked against her. Now, the thing is, they're going to go and search her home because they found prints of her by the crime scene. And we know those can be planted. She was home alone, so she doesn't have an alibi. Here's the other thing. She pulls the fire alarm so that she can talk with Pete. And she tells Pete, I have an unregistered gun in um, the draw in a box at home. I need you to go and find it and get rid of it because it'll look too fishy. Do this for me, my love. Do this for me. So I'm just like, oh, Sloan. Sloan, this is why you be always getting in so much trouble. Why you be? This is why you're always getting in so much I need to take a nap. Sloan, 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 Sloan. Come here, Sloan. I'm really tired of you. This is something about you I really don't like. I'm going to leave it at that for now. So, of all people, Lionel talks with uh, Zero. It's just like, you know, Lionel actually likes Jude. She likes the underdog. So, that's why she really likes Jude. And so, she was just like, look, if you hurt him, I'll happily destroy you. Have fun, though. And he was just like, okay. So, 
cool points to Lionel for that. Uh, you have Kyle trying to convince Raquel, it's like, get your groove thing on. And again, uh, Raquel's stunt double is there, and it's like, oh, so I guess you're really not gay. I guess you're really not gay. You just told your wife to have sex with the guy that was eyeing her? Hmm? Fake marriage? And as we know, if it's found out that the marriage is a sham, then Raquel could get deported. I think her son was born in America, so they would be separated. So then they have this, I get technically the last scene that they had to do, and it was, it turned into a love scene. And so Kyle originally was just like, wait, I have to kiss a girl? I have to kiss her? And she was like, yeah, what's the problem? What's the issue? And it's like, well, if you're really not mad, she was just like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> and she literally had a drink afterwards. <laughs> it's like, woo! Yeah, we good, girl. We good. <laughs> so Zero blows off the... Okay, let me use the different words. Zero decides that, you know what? Screw this book deal. I'm not letting anyone know about my personal life. It's none of their business. Really, it's none of their business. So you have... What's her name? Asha trying to figure out... Where the hell is Derek? Derek's at home. And the girls are like, you know, Derek must be popular tonight. It's like, why? German was also asking where Derek was. So then Asha storms out. Uh, you have Pete goes and he gets a gun and he's able to hide it. I'm like, damn, shout out to Pete. How many times did he hid probably drugs more so than anything else? Pete seems like someone that would be used to hiding some stuff, at least in his past. So, I get why he was able to do that so effortlessly. I was like, uh-uh. That was not your first time doing a cover-up. And it probably won't be your last. <laughs> and Jude goes and gives Oscar this phone number to call the guy that he wanted. Jude was just like, if you call this guy, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Now, you have, uh, you have German confront Derek. And it's just like, yo, what's really up? What's good? So, you... You down with my girl? You get with my girl? I found you with my girl? And so, German with his small ass tries to go up against Derek. I'm like, wait, man. In what world does German have a fair chance in fighting a sober Derek? Derek is clean, so he's physically good. He's ready to go. I'm just like, German? Yeah, this may not be your time. This may not be your place. Not today, German. Not today. And you know what ends up happening? Asha comes in, and then German, like a punk, goes, takes this opportunity and shoves Derek into the glass, uh, glass cabinet. Now, again, this is Derek we're talking about, so that didn't do crap. That didn't do crap. So German's just like, yo, I protected you, I loved you, and you do this to me? It's just like, did you even love me? Do you love, can you say that you honestly don't love him? She's just like, no. It was like, can you honestly say you don't look at me like a killer? I'm like, Asha, say something. This guy inadvertently killed for you. Inadvertently killed for you. So Asha goes, grabs Derek's hand. Once he comes over, I'm just like, he's ho. I'm sorry, but I'm really not liking Asha this season. I'm really not liking Asha this season. I don't mind someone who's a villain, but I do mind someone who's a flip-flop, um... Not just real. Asha isn't real. She's weak. In my opinion, she is so weak. At least with Yelena, all these other bad people, they're able to do their uh, dirt out in the streets, out in public. Now, anyway, so you have Kyle come back, and Raquel looks like she had a nightcap of her own. I was like, oh, she's getting some more. What is she dressed as? And it's just like, where's Miguel? He's like, oh, no, he's staying with the friend's house. It's like, oh, what do you mean? She's like, oh! <gasps> Granny pennies, girl. You got you some. And then, here's where I told you it was going to come in. You had the guy from, what do you call it? Who's uh, helping her out. Who's kind of in love with her now. Kyle. He comes in. It's like, yo. The movie was leaked. And it was like, oh, what? Is it getting terrible reviews? And just like I said in previous episodes, no, it's getting rave reviews. They're calling it a great comedy. They're, call they're already giving it four stars. What the hell are we thinking? Bad 
people, and I mean bad people, will come after me if I uh, if this movie is not if this movie is a success because they'll be looking for their money and they'll find me instead and kick my ass. So, oh, what's his name? <coughs> Oscar goes calls the number and just like how I knew it would, the number is Jude's. Jude was like, oh, because I'm like, yo, he doesn't even know his own son's number. Yep. He calls it. It's just like, Jason? No, Jude. It's like, oh, yeah, you're dead to me. Bye. I'm like, okay, Jude, that's how you do it. Okay, Jude, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, man. That is how you do it. So, yeah, Pete goes, takes a gun, and he puts it in the filing cabinet. And I already knew it. I hate the fact that they already showed in the previews that Jeremy was going to find the gun. Because I'm like, they share an office. So, of course, Jeremy's going to go find the gun. Of course he would. Of all people who absolutely didn't need to, German would go and find the gun. Come on now. So, again, what's his name? Jude and Gerald, they have a talk. And Jude's just like, you know what? I'll show you the house. I do live in LA. I'm uh, not proud of where I came from. Not happy where I came from. But I will show you. Not for the books. Not for the cameras. Not for anywhere else. It looks like Lionel, her relationship with her ex is officially over with. And Elena's ecstatic. She's over the moon. But then reality again sets in because it's like, yeah, so the baby is his. The DNA test is confirmed. And Terrence, you are the father. Now, Sloane is freaking out because it's like everyone who's been involved with framing her is working in that department, except for the guy who was interrogating her the whole episode. So, they're officially processing her and booking her. That's it for this week. Next week's going to be lit. German's going to be crazy. Everything's going to be a mess. I'm excited. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back next week.